Hello everyone, it's Kathy here and today I'd like to share with you a tutorial on how to make some art foam daisies. I was inspired by some flowers that I had growing in my garden which you can see here and I've got two types of daisies, these miniatures and these African daisies. I really like the colours and the shapes and I thought I'd make some of my own. So to begin with I'm using the DIY Flora Daisy die and some white art foam and here I'm just lining up the die with the art foam just so that I can cut out a strip that I will need to do the actual die cutting and once I've done that I just place the art foam over the largest of the daisies on the die and concertina fold it and then place it onto my sandwich and then run it through the die cutting machine as you can see. Once you do that you just remove it from the actual foam and it separates quite easily and so for each daisy you will need to die cut three white petals. Now I'm doing the stamens and the same thing, you just uh, concertina fold over that portion of the die and what I found was, was very helpful was to use a die release tool and the die release tool helps to remove the actual foam pieces from the die and you'll see here it also helps to separate the um, pieces of the die cuts itself without damaging the die cut pieces. To create the African daisy I'm just inking up the centres and the ink pad that I'm using by Kaisercraft is actually the plum ink pad and I'm applying this just using an ink dauber and I'm inking the front and the back of all three of the petals that way I've got a really good coverage. Once I've done that I'm going to heat the petals using an iron and just a a wooden skewer that you you probably already have in your in your kitchen store in your kitchen drawer rather and I'm using a ball stylus to press it into shape onto a sponge. To connect my petals together I'm using some hot glue and in between each layers I'm just pressing it into place and just to ensure that I keep the shape of the petals I'm going to reinforce that once more using the sponge. To create the actual domed centre I'm using um, a sticker, it's one of those um, bling stickers that I had in my stash and it looks really quite pretty. Next I'm going to show you how to make the second type of daisy which is the regular daisy that um, I showed in the photo and again you'll need three die cut petals and um, in this footage I'm going to show you all of the steps because I was slightly off camera when I was um, filming the African daisy just so you can see what it looks like when you actually heat the petals. It does roll up slightly so I just unroll it carefully while the um, foam is still warm just to keep its shape because I really want that curled shape and I just use that ball stylus just to press the petals into place onto that sponge. The sponge is really helpful in doing that. Next I'm going to be using the stamens and you'll need four and I'm using the metal skewer once more and just so that I can protect my fingers I'm just using the pointy bit to just to pierce the um, stylus just so I've got a grip and then I'm using the smaller part of my ball stylus just to make the shape and I'm going to do that for two of the um, center um, stamens just so that I've got two large ones because I want to create that round center and for the remaining two I'm going to heat them once more again piercing the center using that stylus but I'll be using the blunt end of my wooden skewer just so that I can create a smaller coned shape when you press it into the sponge and so I'll do that for two of the uh, center stamens so that when we actually come to constructing the flower those four pieces will fit nicely inside each other to create that nice ball center shape. So um, using that um, sponge just to um, create that shape. So once again I'm using a hot glue gun to connect the three 
uh, white petals and I've used no color they're just white I've just kept them as is and once more I'm using that ball stylus just to keep that shape because I wanted a round shape and to keep the curled edges of the petals to use um, the hot glue gun it's too messy so I've opted to use a smaller uh, glue pen and I'm using the Gina K glue and um, I found that was really helpful because I've got some really good control and I'm also just using my tweezers to help me position everything that I need to put in place so I start by using those larger of the stamens and then I'm working my way in to the center using the smaller ones which were shaped with the blunt end of the um, wooden skewer and again using the the pen glue really makes it easy to apply the glue because you don't want it overflowing so I'm, now I'm just re reinforcing everything into place and voila it's finished so I was really happy with the way that these flowers turned out so if you'd like to make some flowers they're really easy to make and um, you can see that they don't take much time at all and they add a really nice touch to whatever project you'd like to make so thanks for stopping by and have a wonderful day